This is the News app, a new addition to iOS 9 that allows you to read news from many different sources all in one app. When you first launch it, you're greeted with a screen telling you about the app and how it works. You are then taken to a screen to select different publications you enjoy, and by default there are five included. The New York Times, CNN, ESPN, The Atlantic, and Slate. Besides those, you are also asked to choose at least three more that interest you specifically. Once you choose your sources, the app asks if you'd like to have your news emailed to you, and once you've made the decision, you're then taken to the app. Here, you're presented with the For You tab, and this is where you can see all the latest news based on the sources that you have chosen. At the bottom, there's a few more options though. Next to the For You tab, you have the tab to see your favorites. This will show you all the channels and topics you are following, and from there you can select one to see the news from that one source. Next to that tab, you have the Explore tab. Here you can see recommended topics and channels that you might be interested in but aren't following yet. Next to that is the Search tab. This is where you can go add new topics and channels. All you have to do is search for something and then click the plus button to add it to your favorites. But you can also add other sources in Safari from the share sheet, and this allows you to add any RSS feed to the news app. Finally is the save tab. Here's where you can view all the stories that you have bookmarked and you can see your history. While reading the story, you have options at the bottom. One to favorite, one to share, and one to save. The ones you save go into the save tab, and this tab is just a quick way to see all the stories you have read and the ones you want to save for later. The news app overall seems to work really well. The stories are formatted specifically for the app and utilize full screen photos and videos, and you have the text without anything in the way. It's also very smooth and loads everything very quickly, and it's a joy to use overall. Right now, iOS 9 and the news app is still in beta, so some things may change, but this gives us a pretty good idea of what the final news app is going to be like in iOS 9. I hope you enjoyed this quick hands-on of the news app. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. My name is Matt with MacRumors, and we'll see you in the next one.